Okay. Now. Okay. Perfect. Done. Alrighty. Hey, Brent Bob. I wanted to take this chance to show you a little bit about how I hunt players in the system. Um, it's all with that system we talked about earlier, or that tool, rather, we talked about earlier called D-Scan, or Directional Scan. And you can see that down here in your scanners, you've got Probe Scanner to the left. That's for hunting down treasure sites or combat sites. Directional Scanner, right over here, excuse me, is for hunting down other players. Um, don't worry about this. This is kind of the map that's going to be pulled up each time we use either one of these scanners. So, all right. So, what are we doing here? We're out here in NullSec, and I thought it was a perfect time for me to show you how to directional scan. So, here's what we've got. I come into the system, and this is my directional scan window here. You can see it with my mouse. This is it right here. So, if I hit my shortcut, you see this green flash and that means that it's it's actively scanning the system let me put this back where it belongs get out of this so we know that they're here in the system with us but how do we get on top of them to lay down the torpedo delivery so let's figure it out the key component is these two bars right here the range, you can drop this down and keep scanning every time you drop it down until you lose contact with the target. Okay, so we lost him at one AU, one astronomical unit. Go up to five. Okay, so they're between one and five. Let's go to two. Nope. Three. No. Okay, 4 AU away. So let's go 4.5. Yeah. 3.9. Okay. See what just happened there? So they're 3.2 AU away. Keep in mind, we're stealth this whole time. They have no idea we're here. Because this button right here is selected, show scan cone, in the solar system map, we can now see, while we're zoomed in, any entity within that range that this person could be at. So now we've narrowed down our options quite a bit already. But let's narrow this down further. So we worked with this top range already. How about the bottom bar, which is the angle? So watch what happens to the scan cone. Cut this down to 180. Boom. You can see the scan cone is now half of what it was before, but we've lost them off of the uh, D scan. So that means they're over in this dead space. So to rotate this around, you find something out here in the dead space, any of these, any of these items here, and you use the C button, C click, which aligns everything to that. So watch this, C click up here, it spins the circle. C click over here, spins. So each time we spin it in the direction, we want to re-click our shortcut. Look, they're still on D-scan. So now we cut the range down a little bit more, 90 degrees. We've lost them off of D-scan. But look, there's only three locations that are currently hi highlighted in our scan cone. So we see, click on one of the locations in the dead zone. Scan again. Oh, shit. So now, look, there's only two locations left here. Zoom in closer. Look, we get way in here. So now that we have a good idea where they're at, we can... Interesting. Those are some rats just hanging up at this asteroid belt that we warped to. So we'll stay cloaked because that's a battleship. Anyway, let's get back to solar system map. They're still on D-scan here. means they're at one of these locations. So now we lower this even further. Five degrees. C-click on each 
of these. Oh, snap. They're at one of those two. How do we know if it's this one or this one? This one or this one? We probably cut the range down a little bit, right? Three million. <gasps> Look, the last one. They're right there. So we right click, warp to within. Let's go 70. Let's see how this goes. Let's see where we warp onto here. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, shit. They're a little base here. They're in a little force field. If I could have looked at that earlier and found that they were sitting at a base. But uh, I hope that goes to show you how you would find somebody in space. Here, let's fly up on these guys. I'll quick all.